As if it's not enough, I wake up today to find that Barrowman, that's uh, Baroness Moan's husband, is tied up with some sort of dodgy or allegedly do dodgy or apparently dodgy scheme uh, for a company called Smart Pay, which is part of the Knox Group. It's a way of paying people. Uh, it's set up in 2014. But the problem with Smart Pay is it's registered, or, or there are two companies that with the same name, one registered in the UK, one registered in the Isle of Man, and it seems to be some sort of tax dodge. And uh, it may be, it may be legitimate. It's going through uh, an investigation and courts at the moment, uh, and a complex, complex uh, litigation, complex analysis. But it just comes across as extraordinarily dodgy. And then when there's all the PPE issue. Uh, the Labour Party plans to claw back money by uh, getting money back from those companies that benefited from the fake PPE scam uh, controlled uh, through the Department of Health, which at the time was managed by Matt Hancock. And it, it, it just seems either either Matt Hancock was stupid or or doing favours. My instinct is that he's stupid. Uh, or the whole thing is so complex. And I think that's the issue, really. That in this web of complexity, people give up and they and they think, well. Oh, it's too, it's too much for me. I can't, um, I, I know there's something odd going on, but I, I just don't have the energy or the time to get into this. Well, there will be some people who do have the energy and the time, and ultimately the truth will come out. It's the same sort of nonsense that I think has enveloped the train systems. Uh, th these, these hundred private companies um, and ultimately it's the same problem that's enveloped the post office that people, th these businesses and the, and the management oddness is something the management assume is too complex to be analysed I think they're wrong I think they're wrong um, the whole thing smells